Hello everybody, it is great to be back with you all again. Phil Friedman here on a beautiful beach in Southern California. Coming to you from Surfside, California at sunrise. It's a glorious morning. There's so much great fishing to talk about. I'll get you caught up right now in the morning briefing from just below the border up to the Channel Islands. Great to be with you all. And listen, I've got to remind you that tonight is our 7 p.m. live show. And Greg Brown from Option Floral Carbon is going to be along with us. It should be a great show. You can ask great questions about when to use floral carbon. You can ask about his product. I'm sure he's going to talk about the trials and tribulations of starting a new business during the pandemic. I know that's been a pain in the neck for so many people with the supply chain and so much more. Greg Brown tonight, 7 p.m. on the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. Hey, by the way, keep your eyes back there for me, will you? There's been white birds picking bait off on the beach right in here close. And there's also been a pot of dolphin working some bait out there. Looks very lively here this morning in the surf. I'm sure if you came down here and tossed out a sandworm or a bloodworm or a sand crab, you would get a bite. It looks like that kind of morning. So really gorgeous. The sun is coming up. It's just another great morning for me to spend with you. And I thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me. So grab that cup of coffee and here we go. Oh, by the way, on May the 15th, we have our jig fishing workshop. And that is gonna be such a great day for novice anglers, for intermediate anglers, a casting contest with great prizes for the winners. Those will be the expert guys. If you wanna work on your mechanics, if you're not sure how to throw the iron, if you wanna talk about charters, fishing, have a cup of coffee with me, let's do it. We're gonna have over 12 instructors down there waiting for you, and it's gonna be really a great morning, eight to 11. However, there is a change in our venue. We're now gonna be meeting at Recreation Park at the Casting Pond. No longer at Marine Stadium, we're gonna be at the Casting Pond at Recreation Park, right off 7th Street near the golf course going to be a lot of fun. Highly recommend you come on by that is for sure. And also, in addition to that, the after party is going to be over there with my good friend, Chef Jason Lawler. Of course, it's Shoal in Long Beach. That's going to be fun on 4th Street. It's about 10 minutes away. We'll start over there at 1130 in the morning. And Jason always has great food. He loves to fish and loves to gab about fishing. And also, he's got a cold beer waiting for you, hot cup of coffee it is your little heart desires kids sodas water whatever you want to partake in we'll head over there at 11 30 and who knows how long the after party will go to all right so much to talk about let's start with Ensenada area you know some of the pongeros are running out the 18 miles and fishing that bluefin tuna when the weather permits one of those guys that i know very very well actually diego is over on the royal star right now but boat has been running out there. That's Costa Baja sport fishing on Facebook. You can find him. He's been getting some of that blue fin tuna. Arnie, Arnie sport fishing on Facebook. They've been getting it. And of course, the San Diego fleet all over it with some really great fishing going on. There's the nighttime bite. There's the daytime bite. Both have been really good. Probably nighttime a little bit better, but daytime really starting to come on. And most of us are up there around their two fish limits when we're what is going on on the overnight fleet. Great fishing, the great of fish, nice 30, 40 pound stuff, fairly prevalent, but a lot of 50 to 100 plus pound BFT in there. Really great fishing going on right now. And I don't see an end to it. In fact, I've got to suspect that there are so many other areas of bluefin tuna that we have yet to find and get on top of. And that is just going to continue to grow. And it's going to be another great bluefin tuna season. When you can bank on that, and then you have all these other options and alternatives heading your way, it is a special year in sport fishing. At least that's the way it looks right now. The smaller jigs, smaller knife jigs, the uh, Colt snipers, the flat balls, the 100 gram, the 200 gram, seem to be working a little bit better right now. Sometimes, you know, you break out those big knife jigs, they look like a crowbar, they're so darn big. I'm telling you, those smaller jigs have been working really, really well. Yesterday, a special update here on Friedman Adventures. And of course, 
we were getting you up to date on what was going on on board the San Diego, out of Seaport Sportfish. San Diego leaves at 6 a.m., fishes till 6 p.m., and they were into some bluefin tuna. That fish moving closer to Point Loma, in range for those boys right now. And they ended up their day with seven bluefin tuna. Nice first day offshore when you don't have any idea where the fish are. You're just feeling your way around. And of course, Scott out there did a great job board the San Diego. The smaller jigs working well. There were fly line bait fish taken also 30, 40 pound fly line rigged with fluorocarbon and absolute must. We'll go with the opposite fluorocarbon. That will make all the difference in the world. So that fish now in that 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. area. I am loving that so much. All those guys down there, the Grande, the Malahini, the Liberty, all those guys will be offshore now. And the great thing about offshore fishing on those 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. boats is you don't need a password. You do need a password to fish the corn on a island. They're done with that. They're done with those small spots of yellows that didn't want to bite. That island, those islands will take off. You'll see yellows biting out there full speed later on. But right now, turn our attention offshore, catch a bluefin, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You've got to feel blessed to be able to get on a boat at 6 o'clock in the morning and end up with a shot. Antenna. That is fantastic. One moment to say happy birthday. Last night, I spent the evening with Scott Buecher. So many of you know Scott. He's a great kid. I was with him and his lovely family eating copious amounts of sushi. And slapping Scott on the back and thanking him for all his hard work. That kid works his tail off. He never stops working. He never stops looking for a job. Happy birthday, Scott Buecher. I know so many of you no, Scott. All right. How can we not talk about San Clemente Island and Tino Valentine, who just continues to hammer out great catches of yellowtail, sea bass, halibut, thresher sharks, copious amounts of rockfish, the freedom out of 20 seconds three landing in San Pedro just continues to whack out nice catches up there around 40 yellowtail on just about every single trip. And again, yesterday, same thing, 39 yellowtail. Halibuts and sea bass, copious amounts of rockfish, hard to beat that kind of fishing. And maybe Tino will make a cameo appearance, or one of the guys, Gary Woodrum, from the Freedom on Tonight show. They'll be getting in while we are starting our show, and maybe one of them will walk in and say hello and get you even more details on that bite. Tino's at Clemente right now. The San Diego's looking for bluefins, and it's a magical golden hour right now here in Southern California. My hope that everybody is going to continue to catch fish. Tino said that for the most part, the fish have been biting the heavy string. A dropper loop with 60 pounds, not out of the question to get a bite with the live squid. If you're fishing 40 pounds, you should be in good shape. Big hooks always when you're fishing live squid. Five O's is what I like to pin those fish on. It's a very good idea. And again, the rock fishing has also been great. So everybody is not only getting a shot at the game fish, the hard fighting fish, the yellows, the sea bass, some of those big halibut, maybe not that hard buddy, but still kind of an exotic catch, but also the table fare with the rock fish going home. Magnificent. Tino, him and I talk pretty much every night, and I'll tell you, he is stoked about this, and so am I. Really great fishing going on. No question about that. Hopefully they'll drop in on us tonight at 6 p.m. Catalina Island, we uh, kind of suffered there in terms of water conditions, but that's rebounding now nicely. Uh, the water's cleaning up. It's warming up. There's been a lot of barracuda, but a lot of short barracuda. We've also seen some big bonita. Decent calico bass fishing, not wide open, but okay calico bass fishing at times. And also we have seen some good evidence of yellowtail and sea bass. You know, that biomass of squid, I've talked about it a lot. It moved from Monterey down into the Channel Islands and also Clemente's got it and Catalina. That's just one big magnet that moves fish in to our beaches, moves fish in to the local islands. And that is what you're gonna see play out in the coming days. And let me tell you, we're getting this good signal right now. Wait until, wait until we get some beautiful warm water. Wait until the wind goes away. You have not seen anything. This is the tip of the iceberg. It's really gonna blow sky high. Catalina, keep your eyes on it. Again, kinda iffy right now, but good bag fillers. You can get rockfish, 
and all that kind of great stuff. Up the coast, up and down the coast, I should say, sculping, rockfish, biting pretty darn well. We're also seeing some sand bass and calico bass down there around Dana, uh, up there in the Santa Monica Bay. They certainly get it in Redondo and up there at Marina Del Rey. They pick off some nice sand bass, a few calico bass, copious amounts of rockfish. So a lot of good table fare there, and uh, hopefully that is gonna continue to head in the right direction. Here at Golden Hour, oh my God, that's blinding sun. I can feel the warmth from it already. It's gorgeous down here. It's a great day to go surf fishing, and again, I might just have to do that in a few more moments. Surf fishing, let me just kind of tell you that we are in the midst of these runyon runs. I think the next one's in about a week or so. I'll keep you updated on that, but Brunian kind of acts the same way as the squid in terms of being a magnet and attracting predators. So all those predators move in on the beaches and halibut and yellowfin croaker and spot fin croaker all move in here. The water temperature this year, and we look at what we had last year at this very same time along the beaches, is much cooler. Evidence of that La Nina, that cooler water trend that we are experiencing right now. And most of the models are predicting for the rest of the year. Cooler water. So it's been slow to get going, you know, in some areas. But slowly but surely, this bite's going to start to click. I remember one 4th of July here around Bolsa Chica and areas like that, where there were all kinds of people getting ready to celebrate 4th of July. And Eddie Lee myself, my kids were wailing, wailing on the yellowfin croaker, so on chrome crocodiles, little cast masters, it was really great fishing. So I think that's what we're looking at here. It's slowly but surely starting to come together. Halibut down there around Dana Point, uh, Bolsa Chica area, it's not bad for Corvina right now, especially on bait, fishing those sandworms that you can dig up here, kind of a pain in the neck, but you can dig them up, or you can go down to bait, big fish bait and tackle right down the street on the corner of PCH and Seal Beach Boulevard. Uh, they've got blood worms, ghost shrimp, and you know, they've got it all for you down there. Or you can spend some time and dig up these sand worms and sand crabs. Those are also really good bait. They were fantastic. So surf fishing starting to come together. Some guys picking off some nice halibut on the Lucky Craft lures. That is all in play. And remember, as you've been watching back there for me here so far this morning, You have to be really observant. If you see birds picking, get up there and throw your lure. If you're bait fishing, you can just kind of hang in there and hope that bait drifts out in front of you because you know behind that bait there are a bunch of predators that are going to feed on it. So keep your eyes open when you're down here at the beach. Work hard, have a good time, and get a couple of hours in a vitamin C, S E A, and enjoy yourself. You can work surf fishing around your schedule. Channel Islands. Combs on the Endeavor again. Limits of sea bass yesterday was another huge day for Tucker as he's had two days in a row of that kind of fishing. Man, that guy works so hard and does such a great job. Now, Oscar Ochoa was on board with Tucker yesterday, and after Scott's birthday party last night, I gave Oscar a call, and man, he had me so fired up about Wednesday night starter that we have on board the Endeavor. I mean, Oscar described the situation yesterday on board the Endeavor where they looked out and they literally saw 30 to 40 pound white sea bass, a school of them on the surface, freezing. Oh my God, I mean, you see that with tuna and yellowtail all the time, but few of us have been fortunate enough to see that kind of spectacle of nature. Oscar, you had me dying when you were telling me about that. That is a special moment. I know it's one you will never forget. You know, yesterday Oscar described the fishing to me as run and gun at times. Tucker would say, all right, wind him up, let's go. We'll go find another one. And he'd run and find a meter mark, a sonar mark, and drop down on it. They'd get a fish or two. Sometimes they'd go bendo. I mean, they ended up with limits. That is such a fun way, such a unique way to catching white sea bass. They do that up in the Channel Islands. Here at Catalina, you drop your anchor, you get into an area, you hope for a good bite. There, they're running and gunning for sea bass, and they actually saw fish on the surface. They're just kind of breezing along. Wow, that is one heck of a sight. Dropper loop with a heavy sinker. That weather up there has been a problem. 
8 ounce, 10 ounce torpedo sinkers, but they were in 40 feet of water at times at fishing with a sliding egg rig. So that is really a special bite. Two days of limits in a row for Tucker. You've got to love that. And once again, Tucker did a great little uh, tackle tip. Go back and look at that. If you're heading up to the Channel Islands, you're definitely going to want to have that to work with and put it in your arsenal. However, we do have some bad news or down news. The weather up there in the Channel Islands is snotty, beyond snotty, kind of crappy, kind of rough. So we're keeping our eyes on it for you very, very closely. I'm talking to my guys that are on the charter with us Wednesday night. We'll keep you informed if there's any changes we have to postpone, we have to move the date. Um, I'll let you know, but for now, we're a go. But I'm looking at the weather, and Tucker's gonna make that call. I rely on him, he knows what he's doing. We'll see what happens. He, please, give us a break on the weather. This bite is so good. And remember, I mean, yesterday it was mostly 25 pounders. Great grade of sea bass. He's had fish, Tucker, in the 50 to 60 pound range. And of course, just the other day on the Aloha Spirit, we saw fish in the 50 to 60 plus pound range. The Cobra had one up there in the high 60 pound range. These fish have been sitting around on the couch with their little clicker, watching TV all winter and just eating copious amounts of market squid that moved in there. And they are fat and big, and I hope we're gonna get a shot at them. Oscar Ochoa, I thank you so very much for sharing that information with us and firing us up. Once again, we'll keep our eyes on the weather for you all. May the 15th, it's a great opportunity to come out and say hello. If you want to learn something about how to throw the iron, all the guys from the 540 Slingers Club will be there. Jeff Yeomans, Danny, all those great guys. Man. I mean, great guys. Jeff is an ex-military guy, a veteran, so we thank him for his service, but he is there to help you become a better jig fisherman. And of course, Sam De La Torre will also be there. Sam's been doing great tackle tips for us. Go check those out. But Sam and some of his great staff from Island Fishing Tackle in Carson, California, they will be there also to help you out. So remember, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. will be there at Recreational Park. Recreation Park, I think it is, in the casting pond, and then we'll move down to the venue in the afternoon. If you can't make that morning session, you want to come down to Jason's place over there on 4th Street, Sholb, Sholb and Long Beach. That'll be great. We'll have some food. You can grab a beer. I'll grab a cup of coffee. We'll have a great afternoon over there, and we'll have some raffle prizes. It should be a lot of fun. All right. So much to watch for you, and we are doing that right now. San Diego. We've got that blue pin tuna. That's 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. fish. Will it bite? Fingers crossed. I hope it gets chewing again today. Catalina could get going. Clemente's been awesome. Tito's there now. Anchor down. Catching fish. Let's see how he does today. And Channel Islands, if the weather up there right now, could put a stop to some magnificent white sea bass fishing. We'll see the weather can change. We'll keep our eyes on that. Please do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We deeply appreciate it. Our stats are blowing through the roof. And we only have you to thank for that. We are really rocking and rolling. And again, I have to extend my sincere thanks to each and every one of you for all the great things you do for us. So subscribe. You can follow us on TikTok. TikTok uh, that's Freeman Adventures on TikTok. Instagram and Facebook and of course we'll have more for you as the day goes on 7 p.m. We're back again this evening with a live show Greg from Opsin Floral Carbon can't wait to bring that to you and I wish you a beautiful day today it is absolutely gorgeous hope you can get out and do a little surf fishing here today